Adidas to me is, um, yeah, as someone who grew up loving music and football, it was something that bridged the two of them. So I started making music um, maybe when I was like 15. I met up with a guy called Novelist and then the rest is history. When we were growing up, we used to listen to, we still do now, we listen to mainly just what my dad played really, haven't it? The one track I can remember is, uh, I was quite young, in the back of my dad's car and it was Champagne Supernova we playing. But I always remember that faster than a cannonball line when I was younger and I just can't remember how old I was, but that probably my first memory of a good track. Like. When I heard Dizzy Rascal, just the Rascal, or I think when I heard I Love You, around them times, because I was in, no, no, I'm telling lies, that year, but so solid, um, the first one. What's the first one that come out? Did it, I got 20, 20 or second? Yeah. When that come out, I remember I was living in Lambeth. I can still, I still have memories. I remember going to school, and, like the bad boys in our school, like in year six or whatever, were spitting the bars. And I think that's when I was like, raw, this is like mad. Like, I want to look into it for the rest of my life, whatever this is. When we first started, we were very interested in the ethos of our like, acid house culture. Obviously, we were too young for like the first time around for like Ibiza and when it was good. And that sort of idea of uh, going somewhere, taking musical influence from something. When you're going there on like, holiday with your mates, bringing it back to London and building your own sound, building your own scene. I, w I always tell people from my generation of grime, yeah, that the generations before and before that, yeah, have gone through the dizzies, the skeptics. They've, they've gone through so much just for us. It's easier for us now, do you know what I mean? And I'm sure it's been like that in, in a lot of other genres, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, me, all I can just be thankful for them, man. I got into, like, mid-teenage years listening to, you know, Libertines up the Bracken album. And then earlier on this year, they invited us on tour you know, in arenas, so we supported them and we just... I, we were in band practice, I got a phone call and we're like, do you want to support Libertines? And we're like, I thought we were joking, but yeah, it, it was class. There was a nightclub in the town where I come from and it was, you know, your sort of formative, late, early teens, like nights out. And they'd play a lot of, like, at the time they played a lot of, like, Garage, like, DJ Luck and MC Neat would play there every month and it was, you know, it was really exciting coming from like a guitar background, going to like nightclubs for the first time and getting immersed in that culture. And the first thing I ever saw as a kid, which really blew my mind, was uh, watching Football Italia on Channel 4. And, uh, you know, you sort of turn on top of the pops and you see like Peter Andre and you change to Channel 4 and you see Batistuta in like a purple Fiorentina kit. It completely blew my mind when I saw it. When you're like in secondary school, people watch what you're wearing and that. And I remember like saving up, like selling cookies in the playground, like just to get like crepes, like whether it be Adidas, whatever it might be in it, like that was assertive. You had to have them, man. Every single day I wear these gazelles until they get battered and then I'll buy some more. I think you've got to be comfortable on stage. So that's, that's the main reason I wear them. I just feel Same like, thing. I don't feel like I'm putting an image on or whatever, I just feel like, I just feel comfortable in them. If your trainers are not doing it, bro, man, you've got to come back with a next team, cuz, or it's not gonna, can't run. So, yeah, man, bro, man, them have to have the creps, their creps in check always, man, especially back then, even till now, man, you get me, always proper.